Hey everybody. Well, I finally got a hold of one of these model kits. I've been trying to get a hold of one of these things for about two years now. Um, this is the old MPC Vincent model kit from the Black Hole. So this kit came out in 1979, I'm guessing, because that's when the movie came out. And uh, I had one of these kits. I, I had one. I built it uh, when the movie came out. I bought it built it. I had it on display for years on my shelf. And then over the course of a couple of moves, I either lost the model or it got broken or I threw it out. I don't even know. I, I don't know what happened to it. And I've always regretted the fact that I, I didn't have it. So I've been trying to get a hold of one of these things and they are incredibly hard to get a hold of. These models are really rare, especially uh, if it's still in the box. So I managed to find one on eBay for $95, which was a shock because normally these things go for two or three hundred dollars. I mean, it's crazy what these models usually uh, command for a price. But uh, the reason I got this so cheap is because uh, it was already an open box. I think somebody was already starting to try to build it. And uh, it is missing at least one piece that I know of. Now, here's the side of the box here. It says that it is an eight and a half inch tall uh, model, but that's including the stand. And then it has these replaceable arms and legs, laser guns, um, I'm not going to be uh, posing him in uh, this style with the legs sticking out, and I don't want his arms sticking out either. I just I want him in just the, the regular standard mode like this, where he just looks like he was through about 95% of the movie, you know, or just he's just kind of like floating around. So I'm just going to build him pretty much simple and, and kind of like a, an out-of-the-box build. This is the other side of the box, and it just kind of shows another picture of Vincent there. This is the Cygnus model that was available at the time, but I never saw it in person, never saw it in any stores. It is an incredibly rare model to get. If anybody has it, it's worth a small fortune. It really is. And so, uh, yeah, it'd be really cool to get that one. And then they also had a model of Maximilian, and I, I had the model of Maximilian. I built him as well. And uh, once again, he uh, was another casualty of moves. <laughs> and so I lost him as well, but I was mostly interested in Vincent anyway. Okay, so here are all the parts, and uh, when I built this um, a long time ago when I was a kid, I was only 15 years old, I think, when I built this, so um, I didn't even paint it because it was already molded in silver and in red, and I just went ahead and just put it together, slapped the decals on, and, uh, and built him just the way he was, and he actually looked just fine just because it was already molded, but I'm definitely going to paint this this time uh, using some silver and some red, and so um, in looking at these parts, so... We can see these are parts of his head over here. Let me see if I can get some better light on here. But yeah, those are the parts of his head, and those are his little uh, phasers, his little lasers. Um, that's some sections of the head. And then uh, when I got this, his head was already kind of partially put together. Like you can see some of the glue that's still in here. So I'm going to have to scrape out all this old glue. And uh, let me see this, this part here. You can see it all on here. And you can tell whoever was building this built this a long time ago because that glue is all yellowed and, and old now. Uh, yeah, so there's some, uh, some of the gray parts going on here that at least the body has never been messed with. The upper, uh, front and back section of the uh, torso. These are his, uh, those are the little panels that go on the side which are actually the claws when they're closed. Um, I thought it was missing one of the spheres in the picture on eBay. It looked like he was missing one of these halves of the spheres, which are his uh, feet, but thankfully there it's still there. So I thought I was going to have to come up with something to fix that. But so, um, yeah, there's a few loose pieces in here and I'm really surprised that this piece didn't get lost. That is the little door that goes on the front of Vincent. That's where that drill came out where, uh, Vincent did Maximilian in <laughs> at the end of the movie there. And uh, here's his little hat, his little top of his head. And then here's some more claws. Now, um, I'm not going to be using... Oh, let's, actually, let me go to this section over here. This is actually some chrome pieces here. These are the chrome parts for uh, his legs. You got some over here. Those are the little lasers, if you choose to put the lasers in there. And then these are some clear parts. So these are the little lasers that go on the front if you want to do the lasers. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Um, it would be kind of interesting to have his laser sticking out, but like I said, I really just want him kind of in just his regular mode. Those are the little lenses for the little lights that go around the top part of his body. And that's a little TV screen. Now here's another part that got messed up. Now this was done by the previous owner, and you can see here this is a complete disaster. This is the clear dome that goes on top of this part. That was his brain. 
And so this has got glue all over it and it's just a mess. This, I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to use this. I'll see if I can try to clean it up a little bit, maybe buff it out, maybe dip it in some future to get the clarity of it back in there. Uh, but you know, when I built this the first time, um, so you can actually make it so that the top of his head uh, lifts up and down like in the movie when uh, Maximilian was shocking the heck out of him. You could see his brain. And uh, I, I never really lifted this this hat part of his head up ever, hardly ever. So I may not even bother with this uh, brain section. I mean, I don't know, I'll have to see. But looking at this brain part here, you can also see all the glue all over it. I mean, this thing's a disaster as well. If I clean this up, I'm probably gonna just have to repaint it silver and just forget about the chrome on it. So yeah, I don't know, I'll have to see what to do about that. But uh, yeah, so uh, the only part that I can tell that is missing is the base. So uh, this model kit had a hexagonal shaped base and then this metal wire would go inside there. So um, this piece, this end went inside the base and then this part got inserted into the back of uh, Vincent right here. So it made it look like he was floating. So I guess I'll just have to come up with some other kind of stand for him. Um, nothing elaborate or anything like that, but uh, as far as I can tell, that's the only part that's missing, which is actually pretty amazing. But I'm not going to be using about half of these parts. Like, I am not going to be using these, and I'm not going to be using any of the open claws. I'm just going to use the closed ones where they're retracted. And this was just a loose piece. I'm not going to be using that either. Definitely not going to be using those because I don't want his legs extended. Um, I don't think I'll be using these. I'll have to see about the lasers. That's the inside of the laser part, so we're not sure about those yet. But, uh, yeah, all these for sure I'm going to use. So, anyway. All right, well, uh, at least uh, the vast majority of it is there. So, here are the decals, and I'm actually surprised that uh, these didn't get used, and I'm really glad they didn't. But um, they're a little crinkled in some spots, but other than that, they're all there. So I'm a little concerned about these. These decals are now 41 years old, which <laughs> is pretty crazy. And so um, I tried ordering another set of these from uh, JT Graphics. And uh, the guy that runs that told me that his printer is currently down and to try to contact him in two weeks. But I don't want to wait two weeks. Uh, I want to get to work on this now. So, <laughs> so I'm going to see if these decals will work. If they don't, then I'll just go ahead and order the JT Graphics one and just probably have to put these on hold for about a couple of weeks but uh, uh, hopefully these will work I mean they look like they're still in pretty good shape I'll probably have to use some uh, Walther's solve set on them just to make sure they stay down um, this part here I was never really happy with that little TV screen thing I didn't really like the way that decal looked. I'm gonna see if I can maybe come up with something else for that um, I'm not lighting this model by the way I'm not gonna put any lights in it as I've mentioned before I kind of gave up doing lights on models but uh, anyway, so yeah, those are the decals. All right, so these are the paints that I'm going to use. Um, I was going to use some silver uh, Tamiya paint, but they only had one small can of it, and I didn't know if it was going to be enough. My hobby shop lately seems like they just can't seem to get paint in, and it's been really frustrating. So um, they did have this large can of Vallejo hobby paint, and uh, I've seen a lot of other people starting to use Vallejo paint, and they seem to really like it. So I'm going to give this a try. I don't have a uh, I don't have an airbrush, so I have to rely on rattle cans. So I'm going to try this uh, silver Vallejo hobby paint. This is a much larger can, so it'll hopefully go a lot much longer uh, than those really small ones like that. And then um, this is an acrylic, and uh, so that's good. I like acrylic paints. They dry much, much quicker. And then for the red, I'm just going to use Tamiya, which is my favorite paint. And uh, this is a this is TS85, uh, let's see, bright mica red. So it's not like a really... Uh, light red. It's, it's a little bit darker, which is kind of what Vincent's red coloring has, so I'm hoping this will be the right color. But uh, he doesn't have too many red parts, so I don't really need a whole lot of red. So um, anyway, those are the paints I'm going to use. All right, well, uh, I guess I'll get started on this thing. Okay, so uh, for the last couple of hours now, I've been kind of fighting with this clear dome right here. Um, that's the dome that goes on top of Vincent's head. So this thing was a complete mess. There was glue just all over this thing. And so I scraped off as much of the glue as I possibly could with a hobby knife and then I sanded it with about three different uh, grades of sandpaper until I 
got it you know relatively clear and I just got done dipping it in some um, floor polish a uh, floor wax because that helps get it clear again but uh, I don't think this is going to be that clear this is the second uh, dip of uh, wax on here and it's still looking pretty cloudy so I don't think this is going to look that great but that's all right I'm not even going to really worry about it all that much um, it covers the uh, the brain here which is right here I did manage to get all that paint off of there because uh, I mean, not paint, but uh, glue. And so, yeah, there's, um, I mean, you can see it's all scratched up in there. I'm thinking I might paint this with some Tamiya clear red or blue or different colors, maybe just to kind of um, hide all those scratches. Or I don't even know if you're going to see those once that this thing is on, because that, that thing is so blurry anyway. I mean, it's just going to be, you know, under underneath there. And honestly, like I said, I never really ever lifted the lid on Vincent's head very often, um, you know, to show that brain in there. And then the other thing I noticed is that in order to make that, uh, his hat, his little lid, I guess you could call it, uh, go up and down, it's supposed to have a little strut, and I can't find that piece. I think that is a missing piece. It's one of these red pieces, and I can't find it on any of the sprues. So I had to make my own. So I was looking through my parts bin, and I found this, um, I don't know what this is, but it's a leftover piece of something. And this was another leftover piece of something, if I can focus in on it. And I just glued it into uh, this, and that, that'll act as the little stopper. And then um, this might be a little too long, so I'll have to, I'll have to cut this to the length. And then that goes through his, uh, well, I don't know if it goes through the head or not, but I know it goes through where this stick is, and I also know it goes through this hole on the top of the brain. So, um, But like I said, I may not even have it even do anything I might just forego all of this so I guess we'll just keep on working on it and see what's going on um, and then that's his head so I uh, got that all put together so while I was rooting through all those extra pieces and parts to find uh, to make that little strut piece that piece there um, I decided I, I noticed that Vincent actually has these little um, his eyes aren't flat like they show on the decals here here let me show you this is the uh, diamond select Vincent so his eyes actually are, um, they stick up just a little bit. I don't know if you can kind of tell on this. See how that one on the, his right eye is actually, you can see it? They look like little buttons on his, his eyes. And so, uh, and they're, you know, they stick up just a little bit. So I thought maybe I could try to do that on here. So I found these, these pieces were actually part of, um, see if I can focus in on these things. There we go. So I found these things, they were part of some other model kit, and I just sanded them down to this thin bit here. And then I think when I, uh, once I put the uh, decals on, I'm just gonna put one of these on, you know, just on top of it. So let me see if I can slide it on here. So I think I'll just try to, you know, put it on here like this. <laughs> if I can, well, I can't match it up. It's hard to uh, film this while I'm doing that, but uh, anyway. I'm going to try to put it right on top of that dot, and then hopefully I can get, uh, there we go. See, it'll make it look like his eyes, and it sticks up just a little bit like that. So I'm going to try to uh, see if I can pull that off. So, <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully it'll work. All right, so it's the next day now, and I have been putting way more work into this than I thought I was going to. So, uh, so far I've gotten most things painted now. All the silver areas like this, I had to um, fill in the hole on the back here. It's not the best patch job, but uh, it's good enough. You're not really going to look at the back of him all that much anyway. Um, so I had to fill that in since I had to use a different kind of stand. Um, these are all painted silver now. These are uh, these areas here, all these little uh, claws and things. So those are all done. And then I also went ahead and painted these red. And that red paint actually matches this really good. And and that uh, Vallejo silver is excellent. It's a really good paint. I actually really like that. So I'll probably be using those uh, that paint again. Um, uh, here is his head. And you can see I, uh, I went ahead and painted his eyes white because um, the last time I put those decals on, on the first version of this, I remember you could actually see the red color through the decals. And... Uh, 
So yeah, I went ahead and painted this white and I may actually just leave these painted and then just put those little button uh, pupil things on there and see if that might be better. I don't know. I don't know if I can get the uh, the masking just right on the eyes. So uh, yeah, I'm not really sure about that yet. And then um, here is the front part of his body. And uh, interestingly enough, I always thought Vincent... So uh, this area here is black on Vincent and then... Uh, down inside there, I always thought that was all black, just like on the, you can see here, on the uh, Diamond Select one. And every version of Vincent I've seen as far as like figures or toys or whatever, he always had it all black in there. But it, if you look at the movie, he actually only has black in, see that little highlighted area right in there? It's only black right there. It's actually silver over here and over here. So it's only black right there. And I was actually really shocked to uh, see that. I was trying to focus on that. So yeah, now I had to paint this black, and I don't know how I'm going to mask that, but I'm going to try to mask that off to make that look right. And then the other thing that I found interesting is on the back of Vincent, um, let's look at the, the uh, Diamond Select one here. So I always thought it was just like what Vincent has here. It's all black like that, and then on the side here. But you'll notice these little bumps right here, here and here. I never noticed those before, but if you look in the movie, that is actually... Those are actually painted. Those little things are actually painted. So that's black there and black there. And then you have this kind of weird shaped silver area right in there. So uh, I never noticed that he had kind of an elaborate paint job on there. So I'm going to have to see if I can mask this off and try to replicate that. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. So uh, looks like I got a some kind of a piece of dust or something on there. Of course, I have to paint these outside. So yeah, that was pretty wild. So that's just even more painting I'm going to have to do. <laughs> Uh, this thing is going to end up working out pretty good, I think, this homemade little post right here. Um, I think I'm going to shorten it just a fraction of an inch more, and then I think that'll work. The dome turned out better than I thought, considering how absolutely horrible this was messed up. That glue had been on there for many years, and it um, really fogged up this thing. And it's it's not perfect, but considering what I had to work with there, I think it looks pretty decent. I've dipped this thing in that floor wax about, you know, eight times, <laughs> and I, every... Every dip of it kind of cleaned it up a little bit more. And I think I'll just go ahead and leave that chrome piece in there. You really can't even see that much of this anyway. I was going to paint some of that, but I think I'll just leave it the way it is. And then I already started painting the little lights that go on the side of uh, Vincent's torso the, that go right in these little corners right here. And then um, I, I decided I'm going to try this out. I just made this little, I took a piece of construction paper right here, and I'm going to use that as Vincent's little... Uh, his little screen right here. I think that'll look pretty decent and uh, cause it's mostly black back there and it just looks better than that really cheesy um, decal which looks like that. So, and besides that, this decal goes on top of the screen and then you lose the really cool little grids that are on the screen. I, I like that detail. So I think I'm just gonna go for that and then uh, I think that'll work just fine. All right, so I think that's, uh, oh, and I also got the uh, his ball legs put together and painted as well. So yeah, there's a lot going on here, so uh, I guess I'll keep on working on this, but man, this is kind of turning out to be a bigger project than I thought. <laughs> okay, so now I've got his head all put together here. Um, this bu this bubble is actually a little warped, so that made it even more of a challenge. I, for whatever reason, that bubble was a really messed up thing. Whoever had this kit before really kind of screwed that part up. But uh, so that's going to be ready for some decals here soon. I'm really anxious to try those out and see if they work. I got the little red things on here now. So this is this is done. Uh, I got the uh, painting started now, or I should say done. Uh, so I did end up masking off that little pattern on the back there. And I forgot to mention this part here is also black. Um, it looks silver on all the other figures and stuff like that. So that is isn't actually a, a black area right there too. So... Um, and then I'm probably going to end up spraying this with a semi-gloss, so that should get rid of all the brush strokes. I hand-painted this because there is no way I'm going to mask off all of that. I mean, it was already bad enough with this, you know. So, uh, yeah. And then uh, the front of him here, we now have uh, all of this done. And there's that little weird little section right there. That was a pain in the butt to uh, <laughs> mask in that little tight area back there, but uh, man, somehow I lucked out and got it done so all right well so that's uh, what I got so far ah, more work okay so since I don't have a stand for this 
um, I had to come up with something else. So uh, what I did is I drilled a hole into the bottom of the uh, back section here of uh, Vincent. There's that paint, by the way. It turned out really nice, that little pattern. Looks really good. So yeah, it looks cool. I had no idea. And there's that little area there that I was mentioning. So it kind of touched up that area. Um, I tried to put a little more paint on this spot. It looks worse on camera than it does in person. It's just for whatever reason the light is really catching it. Uh, but it looks a little better with a couple more coats of paint on there. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I drilled a hole through here and I found this metal rod at the hobby shop as well as some of this uh, evergreen tube. It's like a, a styrene. And so I just kind of um, figured uh, the, that uh, metal piece goes into the tube there and then I just Gorilla glued all of that in there. And then I can actually pull the um, metal piece out of there if I want so I can take uh, Vincent off the stand if I need to. And then tomorrow I'm going to head over to my uh, mom and dad's house. They, my dad's got a really nice workshop. I'm going to see if I can cut a piece of wood to uh, put this into because right now I just have it in this little vise. <laughs> So, and then I'll have to cut this down a little bit shorter as well. All right, well, at least I got that part done. All right, well, I guess the decals are just not going to work out. As you can see here, these are just, the, the decals are just too old. I mean, these things are 41 years old. So um, I thought I'd start with the head because it'd be the easiest to fix if there was a problem. And as you can see, there is. So uh, I put these down and they started to wrinkle and I um, let them dry and I put some of that uh, Solvacet on here, that Walther Solvacet. This stuff is usually really, really good at getting decals to go down flat. And I have put, I don't know how many coats of Solvacet on here and it did get rid of uh, a lot of the wrinkles, but it still has those. I mean, it looks like poor Vincent here had a rough Saturday night. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to have to scrape these off and I'm just going to have to uh, wait and see if I can get the uh, uh, newer replacement decals from JT Graphics. Um, I know he makes these, but he said his printer's down, so I have to wait a couple weeks. Uh, and I did try the ones over here. These actually turned out okay. Those are That's, the, that's actually the decals. And um, I was going to paint it, and I thought I'd try the decals, and they actually worked out pretty good. That solve set really makes, the, makes them go down. Pretty good and plus I don't want to scrape those off at this point because they're really on there and I don't want to get uh, accidentally scrape off that grill work that's on there but unfortunately the eyes are a casualty so I'm gonna have to scrape those off and then uh, get some other ones why that's too bad too and then another thing I decided to change is uh, I never really liked that TV screen uh, decal plus you have to put it on top of the clear piece and there's a nice little crosshatch detail on the clear piece so all I did was um, I just changed it up like this. So here you can see uh, it's got the nice little thing going on right there. So I think that looks better. And all that is is a piece of cardboard that I have cardstock on black. And I just used a silver paint pen to um, draw that on there. That was my first attempt. I, uh, attempt. I didn't like it. So <laughs> I uh, drew another one on the other side and then just glued it in place. So, so yeah, that looks better. At least it's, uh, you know, not that horrible decal but yeah these things are just way too old so unfortunately I'm not going to take the chance and use these because I know they're just going to probably wrinkle up and after all the work that I've already done on these parts I don't want to mess those up all right well guess I'll have to wait now okay so by some miracle of miracles I've managed to clean all this mess up so boy I've been working on this thing for hours um so I scraped the decals off and then I uh, masked around his eyes and painted them white. And then uh, took the masks off and did some touch-ups. And then I um, masked the white areas themselves. And then uh, repainted some of the red around here just to make it look a little better. And then uh, from there, let's see, I had to try to find a way to make those pupils. And so originally I, I went to Hobby Lobby and found some stickers, but they were just too big. Um, this is what they looked like. They were these little things. And so, yeah, they were too big. And then I came up with the idea of painting a piece of um, index card here, black, and then just using a hole puncher and just punch out those little black dots. And then that and then that worked. I just glued them right in there. And that actually works just fine. So uh, that way I got the pupils in there. And then I just glued those little button pieces on his eyes. So that way it looks more like uh, he does in the movie because he does have those kind of three-dimensional looking eyes. So, ah, oh, thank goodness I was able to uh, save this, this mess. <laughs>
So yeah, he doesn't look like a, a drunk sailor on Saturday night anymore. <laughs> Okay, so I got him mostly put together now. I got the head put on. I got uh, his two halves put together, the uh, little side arms here. Normally, I don't worry about seams on a model, but on this particular one, you can see it's pretty harsh right there and over here. And so I'm going to have to fill those in just a little bit. I'm not going to worry about it right in this area and over here because I don't want to lose any of the detail from the sanding, mainly just that part and this part. And then on this side, let me see if I can flip them over. It's hard to do everything one-handed. Uh, it, it's not quite as bad. At least these lines line up better. But, you know, on, on older kits like this, it, that's just kind of what happens. But I do want to try to fix that a little more. And then I forgot I need to um, paint this area red right in here. So I'm going to uh, start painting that. And then I shortened up his little post right here because his hat, his little head piece was sitting a little too high. So uh, anyway, I just have to put that on and those on and then he'll be completely built. And then I'm going to head over to um, Office Depot. They, I think it's possible. They said they might be able to print these for me on decal paper. If that is the case, that would be great. So I can, I might be able to get them like uh, within a week versus probably a month from uh, JT Graphics. He's just having some issues with his printer, and I think it's going to take much longer than he says, just because he's got to ship it out to Japan. And with the mail being the way it is. So I'm going to see if that if that's going to work. If that doesn't happen, I think I'm going to really try to use these decals. And I think um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray. I didn't. What I didn't do on this, uh, his eyes, I should have sprayed it with some gloss coat first. Because that makes the decal stick better. Just a nice uh, gloss coat there. And then after putting the decals on, I'm going to let them dry for a couple of minutes. And then uh, spray it with some semi-gloss. I'll probably go get some Tamiya semi-gloss. And then that should lock them down, and then hopefully they won't curl or wrinkle. So uh, so anyway, hopefully that works out. Okay, so I got him totally put together now. And I got to say, he looks actually pretty darn good. Not bad, actually. Way better than the one I built uh, 41 years ago. <laughs> I didn't put much effort into that one. This one here, I really tried to make him look good. So uh, yeah, his legs are put on now. I got his hat put on. That's still drying. Um, the seams, I, I don't know, I tried to fill them, but I'm not the best seam filler, and I, like I said, I usually don't worry about the seams, but it looks better than what it did look like. Um, like I said, these close-ups don't really help the fact that it kind of shows all the flaws, but it looks better than it did, I guess. So, uh, yeah, so, um, my options for the decals have run out as far as, uh, Office Depot and Office Max at um, the one girl when I went there didn't know what I was talking about <laughs> and the lady there last night said that uh, they can make decals or she thinks they can but I don't know I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try to use the original ones here and so uh, that's what I'm gonna do and so I'm gonna spray everything down with the gloss coat and then um, I'm just gonna hope that this is gonna work so I'm just gonna start with the, th the three small ones that go up here and try it out first before I do anything and then I also need to mask off his screen so I don't get a bunch of spray on it. Alright, well here we go. Alright, I cannot believe it but I actually got the decals on. I am absolutely shocked. Uh, I spent about three or four hours working on this. These decals were the scariest, hardest decals I've ever put on on a model. These things were just crazy fragile because of how old they were. I mean probably half of these ripped on me and some of them ripped while they were just soaking in the water I would I would you know take them out and they were already ripped it's that's how fragile they were so um, the only main casualty was this one right here you can see it's all wrinkled kind of like what happened with the eyes and I have put um, several layers of uh, Walther's uh, solve set on there and it's taken out most of the wrinkles but it's still pretty wrinkly and I think I'm gonna try one more uh, layer of solve set and uh, see if it's gonna you know get those out but if not I'm fine with this uh, the fact that all the rest of these went on really good is absolutely amazing to me especially these long ones like the Vincent LE 396 um, I have his screen masked off because I still have to give him a final uh, uh, semi gloss because he kinda had a semi shiny finish right now he's got way too shiny of a finish and I don't know I may not even like that either I may just dull coat him uh, which I don't know we'll see but th that dull coat really seals the uh, these decals in so uh, here on the feet those were really tricky um, just trying to get them to uh, you know just get on underneath there like that and you know he's kind of got these little shorter ones on the side right here 
So yeah, these ones on the side, I had like two of them break, one on each side. They were uh, hard to get on there. Uh, you can see they, they hang over too much because they're too long. So they really weren't measured properly if you're going to make it fit around this thing right. So um, I kind of want to trim that, but then I don't want to lose that black border. So I don't know, maybe I'll just leave it like that. It's kind of hard to tell. Let me turn this over here this way. And here you can see these ones. One of these ripped on me, I'm not sure which. Um, yeah, some of these were easy to, to kind of put them back together and kind of hide the, uh, you know, the, the rip, but others were not so easy, such as this one here. So this back one, both of these back ones, both ripped on me. Um, you can see the rip right there. There was like three, this was in three different pieces, this half over here, and trying to get those lines all back to, uh, you know, making sure that they're all, uh, you know, lined up again. This one ripped on me too. And also what's weird is that red thing in the middle, that red line, that should actually go, that should be a solid red line all the way through. I was looking at pictures of the original uh, Vincent prop, which went up for auction a few years ago. And uh, the decals don't allow that to be, you can see there's kind of a curve in there and that should actually be a solid red line. So that was kind of goofy. Um, some of the decals didn't quite match, I think. Uh, this one here, these these two actually went on just fine, but the Vincent ripped on me. I can't remember where it ripped. Um, the fact that you can't see where it ripped is is a good sign. <laughs> but yeah, and then this side here, of course, I said I had one rip on me. But And then these, I had several of these rip on me. This one here, you can see it ripped in three different places. And this one ripped while it was still soaking in the water. I mean, it didn't even... I, you know, it was already ripping in there. It's weird. Several of those did that. I just, I just guess because it was just so old. But man, whew, I've got to tell you, I was holding my breath the entire time <laughs> doing these decals. I, they were really scary. Um, I'm glad they worked, but man, I wouldn't wish that on anybody putting these on. They were really rough. But oh, I'm just glad that they worked out. So uh, now I'm going to start working on the stand. So I was at Hobby Lobby and I found a package of four of these little pedestal pieces. And so I figured maybe I could use these for uh, the stand for Vincent. So uh, what I did is I ended up gluing two of these this way so that they were top to top. And that kind of gives them a more interesting look. And then I sanded it really smooth. And then tomorrow I'm going to head over to my uh, mom and dad's house. My dad's got a really nice workshop. I'm going to use his drill press to drill a hole for the uh, rod to go in there. And then I noticed that... Uh, it kind of looks like Vincent's head. <laughs> so I'm going to paint the middle red and I'm going to paint the top and bottom silver. So uh, <laughs> I think that'll be kind of cool. So yeah, that should work out pretty good for uh, his stand. Okay, so now I've got this thing all masked off for painting and uh, just going to paint it red in there. And I just thought I'd go ahead and add a little bit of a design on the top that kind of replicates Vincent's head as well. I didn't measure these out or anything, so I just kind of eyeballed it. And I hopefully they're, I mean, they're probably not straight, but that's okay. And I'm even contemplating putting some eyes in here. <laughs> I thought that might be kind of cool. So I think I'll look in my uh, extra parts bin and see what I have that I might be able to make some eyes in there. But I haven't really decided if I'm going to do that or not. Okay, well, here's the base. It's all done now. And this actually turned out pretty nice, I got to say. So yeah, the masking was good. I didn't have to really do too many touch-ups. And I really like the way it looks. I decided to uh, forego the eyes because, uh, I don't know, you don't want the stand to be so predominant that it takes away from the subject at hand, which would be the model itself. So, uh, yeah, so this, you know, gets the idea across. I put a little bit of felt on the bottom just to give it a little soft bottom. And uh, I did spray it with a sealer, which kind of took away a lot of the shine of the aluminum. It almost makes it look gray now, but that's okay. I still like it. All right, well, let me get Vincent on here and we can see the completed model. All right, here he is. He's all finished, and I can't believe that he is finished, but uh, yeah, this was a, a, a crazy build, but it was also pretty fun. Um, he turned out really good. I'm actually very pleased with the way this turned out, so uh, it was kind of like a walk down memory lane building this kit, because I, you know, like I said, I built this when I was a kid, and so um, this time building him, I just really wanted to kind of do it right this time, and and uh, plus all the things I learned along the way, like the weird paint job that he has back here, and then the, the weird paint job on the front here as well. And um, yeah, so you know, I certainly didn't do that on the first time that I did this. And then not having the stand actually kind of worked out better, I think, because 
Uh, I was never really a fan of the original stand that this came with, and it, it left such a big footprint. I mean, it was like this big around. This is a smaller one. It can sit on the shelf a little easier, and I think that looks really good. It kind of, you know, mimics uh, Vincent's head here. But uh, yeah, he turned out really, really good. So let me show you some close-ups. All right, so here he is. And uh, one of the first things I want to point out is that decal that I was having so many issues with. It's actually smoothed out pretty good. I put one more coat of the um, Solvacet, uh, Walther's Solvacet on there, and it seemed to do the trick. So it really kind of smoothed out pretty good. And you'll notice there is a bit of a film over the, um, the lights. That's just the carrier film that's on there, but I, I guess you can poke that out, but I honestly just didn't want to mess with it and press my luck and, and possibly make it worse, so I, I'm just going to leave them on there. So, I mean, I'm not the world's best model builder anyway. Um, I mean, I think I do okay, but there's some guys on YouTube here that are just incredibly talented at this stuff. So uh, the only other kind of inaccuracies that I could think of is, is uh, as I mentioned, that red stripe should be a solid stripe that goes straight down. For some reason, the decals had it curved and split. And then I think the red part of his head should be just a little wider um, so that not so much of the, the hat piece should be hanging over. That's the only kind of thing I can see. But, you know, this being a, uh, an older kid, a 41-year-old kid, I think it looks pretty darn good. I think they did a great job on it. And um, it was so fun to put this together again. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, Vincent, you know, that's just he was just another cool robot from these movies. And Black Hole, the Black Hole movie, you know, that came out in 1979. It was the very first... Uh, PG rated movie that Disney came out with which was pretty risky for them that was not something that they uh, they did I remember it was big news and then I remember going to see the movie and it was really dark it was a really dark movie um, you know especially the scenes where they show the humanoids what they look like and then also uh, Anthony Perkins when he gets chopped up by <laughs> Maximilian I mean even that scene now is still kind of a uh, kind of haunting to watch and uh, but it's such a good movie because of that. It's just a very underrated movie. I don't think it got the credit it deserved. And Vincent here, I just absolutely loved him. He was just a a really gutsy, uh, no nonsense robot. He didn't put up with any guff from anybody, including Maximilian. Even though Maximilian was so much bigger than him, he he would take him on. And and I just really respected the fact that he stood up for himself and held his own. And I thought that was really cool. But. Uh, yeah, I, it's just a really great movie. If you haven't seen it, you really got to check it out. I, and uh, oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention is I did go ahead and uh, make it so that his lid will open so you can see his brain in there. So at least I was able to save that. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do that. It, it, the uh, condition of that clear part was terrible. Oh, and also you can uh, turn his head too if I can get a grip of it here. So yeah, I can turn it. It's kind of cool. So I chose not to uh, do the... Uh, the extended arms on the front here, and uh, I, I also didn't do the side ones because, I don't know, I just don't like the way that looks, or his legs, uh, you know, sticking out. I just, I want him to look like he did through about 99% of the movie, so uh, <laughs> I just think he looks, you know, better that way. So uh, anyway, yeah, this was a really fun model. I really enjoyed it. It was really uh, just a fun little casual build. Not many parts to it, thankfully, and and even as old as it is, it still went together pretty well. It was kind of weird to think about how this poor thing uh, was sitting in a box for 41 years and nobody ever put him together. So it was kind of an honor to be able to finally give him some life and uh, <laughs> and finally put him together and make him look pretty decent. And so um, anyway, so yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, sorry it's so long. I, most people would probably break this up into two or three parts, but I really just wanted to kind of make... Uh, one big video so you don't have to sit here and wait for each part to come out. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, please give it a like. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, also subscribe if you'd like. I would really appreciate that as well. So uh, thank you again. And I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you on the next one. So have a good one.